World News Tonight and 10 News Live at 6.30. The traffic story begins mornings on 10 News at 5 and 6 a.m. Good morning, Mr. Carlson! I'm going to get you all to sign my t-shirt. I'm going to put it up in my dressing room and I'll send you guys a picture. That's it. Lunchtime. Oh, oh sorry. Sit right here. I'll sit here. What's under there? That's in trouble table? Yeah, I don't want I don't want to be in trouble. Fantastic February is sponsored by Quilted Northern. It's all in the pattern. A pattern of caring. Quilted Northern. Someone's coming out. Watch the sniper. Prepare to fire. Oh my god, it's Alan. Take out the sniper. Shot. And where we were, it looked like he had a heart attack. Alan, he's not breathing. Oh my God, he, he didn't have a pulse. Alan, Alan. If we can't give Mr. Craig the code, what's ever inside will be destroyed. I told you I don't know any code. You do. It's just locked in your mind somewhere. Hey, you know me. You remember our daughter. That means your memory hasn't been obliterated. Just. Try. That's all I've been doing. Okay. Okay, you know what? We, we, we're probably trying a little too hard here. Maybe just, um, just relax. Okay, just relax and, and let your mind wander. Let your thoughts go. Why are you making me do this? Because the lives of innocent people are at stake, including those of people I care very much about. Now, it can't just be six random numbers, okay? It has to be maybe some kind of a sequence. Maybe maybe a, a birthday or an address or something. It's not there. How did this happen to me? Do you remember being shot by Sonny? Vaguely. Well, you had surgery to repair the damage. 
But what we didn't know until tonight was that there was a stray bullet fragment loose in your brain. That's why you had those blinding headaches earlier. So I brought you here. Now, in the meantime, we found out that Robin Scorpio, one of the hostages, had been shot. Turns out she's Dr. Drake's girlfriend, so he was in a hurry to get you in and out of surgery so you could wake up in time and give us the code. Well, it turns out that he was in too much of a hurry, obviously. So Jerry put me in this condition? I could pay for this. Well, I wouldn't make too much of a fuss about it. It could backfire. Oh. Well, what you were moving wasn't your run-of-the-mill breach of law enforcement. You were involved in an act of espionage. If the police were to find out, you could spend the rest of your life in prison. You should go to the lounge and take a look at the news. They're reporting live from the Metro Court. Did something happen? They released your father, and he's on the way here to General Hospital. It appears two civilians somehow broke through a window in the Metro Court. They came out and helped the fallen hostage to safety. No word on how badly the hostage was injured, but the shooting ha- Hey, don't mute it. I can't tell what's going on. Neither could that reporter, and her inane babble is making me crawl out of my skin. Damn it, get the camera away from the looky-loos and put it on the man who was wounded. Why would they shoot Dr. Q? How yeah, the hell would I know? They certainly have plenty of other worthwhile candidates, starting with that miserable Corinthos. And what were Mr. Luke and Lucky doing running away from the building? I don't... They were mucking things up, as usual. From what the reporter says, it looks like they saved Alan's life. All right, I'm going to the hospital. If I find anything out, I'll call you. Well, so am I. He's my son. I'm going to. We're going to. Oh, I'm disappointed. Are you trying to miss? Let go of me! He shot my father! No, I don't believe he did. Oh, he fell on his own. It doesn't appear that the jolt you gave your father with a defibrillator... No, shut up! You were trying to kill him! And my father is a doctor! He dedicated himself to saving lives and you shot him! Do you get the difference, you coward? Hiding behind your stupid masks. <laughs> Are you so tough? Let's oh, take it off! No, you gotta calm down. Calm down. I understand that you were frustrated about your father, but you need to calm down or we are all going to die. Well, he's gonna kill us anyway. Right? You don't care about human life. You sent a man outside with a failing heart, and then you shot him. That's the purpose of a hostage, to die for my cause. Oh, yeah? Okay, so what's your purpose? Huh? My father had a value. He made a difference in this world. You can walk out of here with everything in that vault, and you'll still be the same worthless piece of trash that you were when it started. I second that. You people don't seem to be clear about one concept. You're not in charge here. I am. Do you understand? But Emily was right about one thing. I couldn't care less if you die or if you crawl out of the wreckage of this hotel with a few less body parts. So either you stifle the urges to lash out at me and behave like nice little kiddies or be prepared to pay the price. Now everybody on the floor and don't make me say it again. And you. I'd like you to curb your hysterics if you don't want lover boy here to get his head blown off That'll give you something to cry about. You, Florence Nightingale, stop what you're doing. Take her in the back. Why? Because I don't want to hear your voice anymore. On second thought, on second thought, Six, you take her in the back. Come on. That was great what you did for Emily, but don't do it again. Listen to me. Now, this guy is starting to unravel. He's not playing mind games anymore. He wants to regain control of the situation. If he starts losing it even more, he's going to start killing people. He's going to need the hostages alive. He doesn't need all of us. As a matter of fact, he only needs half of us. Think of Michael Morgan. I do not want them to lose their mother. So you stop acting on impulse and you stay calm and you stay quiet. My second story man here.
tells me there was a breach in security. It seems that there were two would-be heroes inside the building who broke cover to scrape Dr. Allen off the ground. We'll be checking for more interlopers and pay much more attention to the security system. Five, these three are yours. Seven. Okay, hostages. Just a brief reminder. This lobby is set up to explode and you don't know which one of us has the detonator. So be very careful who you touch and how. My people, listen up. If someone so much as breathes aloud, kill them, please. One, two, three, click. Okay, good. Let's get him in GH. Thank you so much, Lou. Monica, wait. We need to talk to Alan about what's going on inside. Alan is in no shape to answer any questions. Hey, talk to us. We were in there. Okay. Why don't we start with why? What were you thinking, Lucky? Playing hero with your father could have gotten Alan and Elizabeth killed. Hey, back off. Where were you when Dr. Quartermain was lying helpless on the ground? You and your SWAT team that doesn't know the difference between a heart attack and a gunshot wound. We could have had some of those people out of there by now. You know, you mess with the, the wrong people, evil dude. You see, every one of those hostages is important to someone. And a lot of them are important to someone very lethal. <laughs> and one of them is important to me. So if I live through this and find out that you've hurt her, I'll... You know, it's, it's not cool to terrorize innocent people. Especially gorgeous, sweet. <laughs> it is I, the jackal. I'm, I'm, I'm here to save you. One good reason not to kill you. Because you don't want to? Is there any word on Alan? Well, I don't this. I guess excuse me is a waste of time for an efficiency expert like you. I'm Dr. Russell Ford. Dr. Quartermain is in transit by ambulance. How badly was he hurt? Our initial information is that he suffered cardiac arrest. We'll be doing an assessment once he gets here. Listen, my son is the chief of staff. And our family money is largely responsible for keeping this hospital in business. And I expect the finest medical treatment on the entire planet. So instead of standing around here talking, get an OR ready and get the finest Sir, medical... what? It is my fervent hope that any patient that comes to this hospital receives the best medical care possible, regardless of their family money or their connections. What did he say his name was? Thank God Alan's alive. I'm surprised you could tear yourself away from your mobster boyfriend long enough to care. That's an awful thing to say. These are awful times we're living in, and your Lorenzo Alcazar is responsible. How is he? Not good. Is he conscious? Barely. Now listen to me, young man. There is only room in this family for one heart patient. And I took that role years ago. So you're just going to have to, to pull it together and, and find some other way to, to torment us. Helen, you get away from him, you lying bitch. Get him to OR, I'm right behind you. Monica, I know you're frightened here, but there's no sense in taking it out of the sky. You said not. Well, if it weren't for Alcazar, there wouldn't be a hostage situation, and we would all be home at this very moment. Is that true? You can take that as a yes. Now's the time.
General Hospital Tragedy. Who lives? Who dies? Only Soaps in Depth has a shocking twist that will break your heart. Alan, Emily, Liz, Jason. When the danger at Metro Court reaches a boiling point, not everyone will get out alive. Get the details only in the new Soaps in Depth. On sale now. What makes you think that using the police helicopter to drop Lucky and Luke on the roof was a good idea? Mac didn't know. I told the pilot I had clearance. Unbelievable. You know, that's grounds for suspension. Knock it off. If Lucky had come to me, I would have given him permission. Then I would have went to Luke and tried to have him take me along. This is a hostage situation, Mac, okay? There's no room for personal heroics. There's no room for anything here with you sucking up all Let year. me make this real clear to the both of you. While the helicopter was dropping you two heroes on the roof, the ringleader called me. I heard Elizabeth in the background. You know how I know that, Lucky? Because I heard her whimpering, because he, he, was, he was jamming an automatic weapon in her side, threatening to kill her and the baby if you two heroes didn't back off. Why do you think he's going to think now that he knows the two of you got inside? You may have just killed your own wife. E Evil House preferred cargo is is weapons, okay? So in, in the, the listed value of that briefcase is priceless, so you, you, you got to imagine it could cause mega huge destruction. And Jason's still in the lobby? Uh, y yeah, he's uh, masquerading as one of the minions of darkness. He's taking a huge chance. He doesn't know their master plan. He doesn't even know what number he's supposed oh, to be. On, just fear not. You know, Stone Cold has nerves like comic book steel, you know? Hey, um, besides, I was, I was the one that got us in without tripping the alarms, and then, you know, I've, I've really contributed some, some major tech support, and, you know, he even put me in charge of the unconscious one. Oh, oh, God, um, God, I really hope I don't have to whack him oh, again, okay. I don't want to hurt the baby. Okay, stop, 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 we, if he wakes up again, we need to put him in that room or something, and then we're gonna go help Jason. No, 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 I'm gonna get you out of here, out of harm's way. No, I am not leaving. I cannot save myself while everybody else's lives are on the line. Now, obviously, it was stupid of me to take off your mask, but look at it from my point of view. I've been stuck in here with you for hours, not knowing what you look like, and it was driving me crazy. If I let you live, you can ID me. No, I won't. I promise. And I'm just supposed to trust you on that? Well, you didn't expect any of this, right? You took this job thinking it was going to last five minutes and pay you a million dollars. You didn't think of what you would actually have to do for that money. If you kill me, that's murder, and that... It ruins the rest of your life. You don't want that, right? You're right. I didn't think this through. That's the problem with me. Yeah, me too. Obviously, or I wouldn't have taken your mask off. Do you mean that, or are you just playing me? A little of both. I want you to like me so you don't shoot me. I'm not gonna shoot you. I just don't know how either of us is going to get out of here. Okay. Maybe we could figure that out together. We've got a low BP and it's becoming more altered. From the looks of the EKG, we're looking at multi Yes, disease. I, I've seen the test results. I know what we're dealing with. Um, I'm scrubbing him. Doctor, that's against hospital policy. Remind me to tell you when I care. I'm Alan's best chance right now. He needs angioplasty, and I'm going to do it. Sorry, it's not going to happen. My father. He could be dying, and it's all my fault. It's not true. I knew what was going on at that hotel, but I didn't want to tell the police because I was too busy protecting you. Well, you know what? That is over. I am not going to have the lives of those people on my conscience. Or yours. You do what you have to do, this guy. Will you do the same? Remember the code. I told you I can't. Well, try harder. <sighs> All right, okay, wait. I remember something. A word. Um, equinox. Does that help? No. That is the name of the briefcase. It's a model that will self-destruct if the same six-digit code isn't re-entered every 24 hours. Now, come on, Lorenzo. I need numbers here, okay? Three more digits. Seven, six, seven. Come on! You have to remember before someone dies. You know what I wish? I wish Jason were here right now. Because he would know what to do in a situation like this. He would be calm and he would be watchful. 
But it's a shame that he's in Paris right now, isn't it? Just uh, try to breathe through it, okay? Yeah, if, you're sh if your cramps are being caused by stress and dehydration, it's probably best to say calm. <clears throat> even if it's prematurely, everything being calm can't hurt, right? I, uh, I guess I'm it, 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 it's, it's wonderful that you're having a baby, right? Yeah. I bet you can't wait to hold your little boy or girl. And he was so tiny. But even then, he looked like his dad. That's why I named him after Xander. After his dad. Okay, have you decided who you're gonna name your baby after this time? Hi. Jason Thompson, I'm an actor in General Hospital. I'm here teaching first grade. Read a couple stories. And what happened so far? So I know what I'm doing. Did equations that led up to 90. 45 plus 45. Good shot. Went and had a hot dog in the cafeteria. You like hot dogs? Yeah. Coming back to full time teaching. No! First grade, Texas style. Dr. Ford, is it? Right. And you have been here on staff, what now, three hours? What's your point? My point is I've been a cardiologist here for 20 years. You don't just come waltzing in and tell me what I can and cannot do, especially when it comes to my husband. Well, that's just it, Dr. Quartermain. The patient is your husband. You're too emotional. My husband went to a charity event where he was taken hostage by some nameless, faceless thugs that caused him to have a heart attack. You're damn right I'm emotional. You're too close to the patient to be objective. Look, I get it. You've been watching the crisis unfold on television, helpless to affect it. Now you have control and you want to seize it. When I want to be analyzed, there's a whole floor of therapists I can go to. In the meantime, I have work to do. If you make a mistake, kill your husband. You never forgive yourself. You go ahead and file a complaint if you want to. But I am Alan's best chance at survival, and right now you're wasting my time. Dr. Beal, call 932. Dr. Barbara Beal, call 932. Mom? Um, you okay? What do you think? Yeah, no, stupid question, I know. You're just really, um, quiet. Well, I only rant and rave when I know it can get results. When something like this happens, I, uh, I quietly fumble for anything that would pass for a prayer. I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I wish I could tell you that Alan will be fine. Do not struggle to give me false hope. If Alan dies, I want to be prepared. And if this night has cost my brother his life, I will get revenge on everyone involved. Well, I, I, I mean, you might not get the opportunity to... to Hostage takers will probably be either dead or they'll, or they'll get away. Sky will be here. Sky? I warned Alan not to take in the strays. Hey, whoa, whoa, Mom, this isn't Sky's fault. I mean, she was just looking out for the, the father of her child. I mean, you said back at the house that loyalty to the family is, is everything. Besides, we don't even know if Alcazar had anything to do with this. Don't you dare try to defend that monster. This has Alcazar's prints all over, and I swear to you, as God is my witness, if Alan becomes a casualty in all this, that son of a bitch Alcazar is going to pay. Personally, I'd love it if you fired Lucky. He's meant for better things than taking orders from the likes of you. you know, one more word out of you, I'm going to throw you back in lockup where you're going to stay until this whole thing is over. Fine. Let me know how barking orders and sitting on your butt works out.
What are you doing here? I have to talk to the police. Good, how could I remember something? No, no, but I think the police are listening to what's going on. Oh, don't Don't spill your guts to this band of idiots. I think that maybe I can trade what I know for the release of the hostages. You know the whole code? No, I told you all I know are the first three digits, 767. Yes, but you also said it was an Equinox briefcase. That means if you don't have the six digits correctly the first time you punch it in, it will destroy whatever's in the briefcase. So you've got nothing to negotiate with. I'll lie. If you're going to bluff like that, you need a bigger liar. You don't have to help me, Luke. I'm hey, the one at fault here. Hey, look, indulge your guilty conscience another time. We've got to get those people out of there. What are you thinking? What is the ringleader's name? James Craig. Craig, okay, well, chances are he doesn't know that the briefcase is booby trapped. That's our ace in the hole. I'm just the guy to tell him I'll trade me and the code for the hostages. But you don't know the code. I know the first three digits. That's enough to open negotiations. Don't worry. I'm a great poker player. And I'm motivated. My little girl is in there. So don't fret. I'll pull this off. What's this? Spencer! Stop! Somebody shoot him in the leg! Hey! Hey, hey, stand down! Stand down! What are you doing? You know, you're acting like you have private knowledge about what's going on in there. Are you working some kind of angle? No, of course not. Then Luke does what he wants. Even if it violates every procedure that we have in place. Yeah, yeah, even then. Come on, please don't, don't, don't sweat the other hostages. You know, Stone Cold, Stone Cold's on the case. And, you know, with you out of the picture, it's one less person he has to worry about. Things are getting very tense in there, and they're getting worse by the minute, and the leader is starting to lose his cool big time. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, not to worry. Jackal is packing heat. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you know how to use that thing? Oh, yeah, no, sure, it's easy. Okay, um, okay, uh, the first thing is you take off the... Uh, oh, okay. uh, okay. safety. Yeah, no, no, I'm going to hold this thing, since I know how to handle it better, and you're going to wait here until I tell you that the ghost is clear. Okay, but w hey, well, what if you get caught? Then it is up to you to help Jason. Okay, I won't disappoint, brave blonde one. Freeze. Right, this is what we're gonna do. When when we hear this door start to open, you're gonna grab your mask and put it back on and grab the briefcase. Stick your gun in my side and I'm gonna act all terrified of you. Then uh, once one gets the briefcase, just tell him you're gonna take me back to the lobby with the rest of the hostages. Hopefully he'll hang out here and make sure whatever he wants is actually in that briefcase. Meanwhile, when we get to the office corridor, we're gonna go left towards the service entrance instead of going right back to the lobby and we'll head out back where hopefully the cops will be waiting. To shoot me? I'm not going to let them shoot you. I'm the police commissioner's daughter, remember? You realize that your plan can't possibly work. Okay, it's a long shot, but it's better than giving up. What are you talking about? I want you to know that I don't regret one moment that I have spent here. And I don't regret anything I've said. Nothing's gonna happen. If we make it out of here, I'm not sure I ever want to operate again. We will make it out of here. And you will operate again. Okay? And when we do get out of here, we'll take your parents to dinner, like we talked about in Venice. Nicholas. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Venice, San Marco Square. Remember San Marco Square? Yeah. Remember that? person who sees you alive and in one piece. I'm taking you back to the lobby. I know someone smart and patient will save me, someone who knows the difference between 
between the time to act and the time to just wait. All right, so I'm not exactly what you would call a realist. What do you mean? Well, when I want something, I usually just go get it. I don't stop and ask myself the important questions like, is this really good for me or do I have the right to want this? I just make it happen for myself. So far, I'm not hearing a problem. Well, then I haven't made myself clear. Okay. Who I wanted. A married man. A cop. A cousin by marriage. <laughs> I mean, I had a crush on this guy since I was in high school, and I used to tell myself that I would do anything to be with him. So, I actually did. So it was all your fault. Whatever happened? Well, one day, Lucky asked me to lift pills for him from the hospital where I volunteered. I know it was wrong, but Lucky was in pain at first. I knew Lucky only cared about me because I was getting him drugs. So I just kept getting him drugs. It was a no-brainer, really. One day, I kissed him, and eventually, we took it further. Mm -hmm. it sounds stupid now, but... I had convinced myself that if I slept with Lucky, he would see how much I loved him and he'd value that and he would be with me. But he didn't. Big shock. <laughs> he just used me the whole time. Hey. Uh, my son is in surgery right now fighting for his life because of you. And a dear little girl is lying shot on a hotel floor, maybe already dead because of you. And my granddaughter is at the mercy of armed gunmen who could kill everyone in that hotel, all because of you. I don't remember what they want. Oh, please. Just know I'd never meant for anyone to be hurt. You brought the criminal element into this town and you spread it around. Now you're playing dumb to avoid the consequences. Well, I won't have it. Now you're going to pay. And you are going to pay mightily. And I won't rest one more night until you do. The threading's going well. The large area of damage is exacerbated by the amount of time you had to wait to get help. If you can't offer positive direction, I would really rather you say nothing at all. We're going to get him through this. Who are you trying to convince? Alan. If he can hear me, I want him to fight for his life as desperately as I am. I know what you want. I also know you're not going to get it without help. When Alcazar stashed the briefcase in the vault, he added a little extra protection. The briefcase is an equinox. That's right, an equinox. A state-of-the-art little number with a built-in self-destruct mechanism. That means... Holding up in there, waiting for the vault to open isn't enough. You need the code. I have it. I'm willing to trade me and the code for the release of the hostages. I knew this had nothing to do with the robbery. I knew Alcazar was at the center of this. I heard the guy outside. Why is he being such a hero? Obviously he has someone special at risk. He said his name was Spencer. Spencer, Spencer, Spencer. Isn't that your name, little Lulu? Hey, I'm talking to you. Who's that guy outside to you? Speak up, or mother and baby go bye-bye. He's my father. Good girl. You've been such a great help. That is only getting started. Come on. We can all get what we want here, Craig. Wait, hold your fire! I'm right there. This is going to be a very simple choice for you, Luke Spencer. Give me the code, or your daughter dies. Simple. BP is dropping, 88 over 42. Increase the dopamine drip to eight mics. We're starting to lose him. SDs are elevating, damage is extending. 
Distance, Mike? Yes, sir. Use it. We need to hear what's going on in there. It's okay, Lulu. It's okay. Mr. Craig is too smart to shoot you. Because killing my daughter will guarantee you'll never get that code. Let her go. Set the other hostages free and I'll come in and I'll give you the code. And when the vault opens, you punch it in, you take what you're here for, and get your people out. Everybody's happy. I have to question your timing. Alcazar and his girlfriend must have known the case was an Equinox. They made no attempt to get the information to me, so why are you here now? Well, you see, Alcazar is a little under the weather. Bullet fragments floating around in your head do that. You're bluffing. I think that if I want to wait for the vault to open, I'll get what I want, and then use the hostages as leverage for my escape. That's what I think. Are you really willing? Take that chance. I also think that there's someone inside that means a lot to you. The pregnant nurse, for example. Give me the code, or watch your daughter die. And then I'll bring Elizabeth, and then you can watch her and the brat that she's gestating die too! It's not working. He's gonna have to get the code. Luke doesn't know the code. He may not get a clean shot. He could even shoot Lulu. Oh, come on, Craig. You don't want to do this. You're too smart for this. What do you think you're doing? Give him the code, Luke. He's already shot two people. He'll kill Lulu unless you give him what he wants. Finally, the hothead, I believe his name is Nicholas, makes himself useful. He's telling the truth. I will kill her. So what's it going to be, Mr. Spencer? The code? Or Lulu's life? Stay tuned for scenes from the next General Hospital. On the next General Hospital. There's only so much you can do. The patient's heart is failing. That woman saw Jason line up a shot on Mr. Craig. You're starting to get sloppy. No one knows the code except Lorenzo. Any last words to your father? You don't want to shoot her. Game over. 